what's going on y'all i'm out here today got the hobie lynx and i actually just got back off the water had some really bad swells roll up on us and uh in the past i've had a lot of people ask me questions on how well the hobie lynx handles these waves um you know if storms roll up on you you know is it something to worry about this that and other well we were out there in some really really rough stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some of that footage now and then i'm gonna come back and talk to y'all about my thoughts and how i think the hobie lynx handled the waves out there on the water so a lot of water coming in over the bow so here's the thing right if you start to run into a lot of swells this kayak is going to just punch through them right it does not ride those swells there is no up and down on your bow it's driving straight through them cutting into the waves so that does create a really really wet ride like i've had a i had several swells that just completely rolled through the kayak um, I'm soaked head to toe right now from that trip, but here's the thing that was some pretty gnarly stuff out there. I mean, every bit of 30 mile an hour winds, chop, small craft advisory warnings like that was some bad stuff, and I never once felt like I was gonna flip or felt like my safety uh, was in jeopardy. Um, I pretty much just stayed in it, pedaled through it and uh and got us back to shore but never once felt like i was you know at stake of, of losing the kayak flipping uh and, and being in a bad situation so in my opinion this hobie Lynx handles this type of stuff really really well if you're looking at something to stay dry maybe it's not the kayak for you but super super stable machine i'm three uh, 390 i'm 290 pounds 511 just for a little bit of reference and also we had this thing loaded down right got a bag right here full of ice got a bucket full of water and bait right there three rod and reels a net paddle drive tackle boxes underneath so 
this kayak was loaded down the weight capacity on this thing is 350 pounds i know i had to be pushing that if not over the weight and um just in some really really bad weather and she did phenomenal out there so that's it y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this i hope y'all find it helpful in deciding whether or not the hobie lynx is a kayak for y'all uh, if y'all would hit the like button comment share and subscribe i'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers this year and i need all of y'all's help to do it so please hit that subscribe button i'll see y'all next time